Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 PBT Mark Roth Open for a brand new season of the Premium Bowlers Tour. Here we have today five bowlers who have fought their way through six games of qualifying and a few games of match play getting in to the top five stepladder finals. Let's have a look at the stats of all of these bowlers who made it today. In the number five seed we have Callum Coney, he qualified third after qualifying he ended up with a 243 average in match play he ended up with a 255 average but he only played one game so that only put him in the number five seed billy on the other hand he played two games and he went one and one and he ended up with a 262 match play average to get himself into another number four spot with a 237 average in qualifying putting himself sixth after qualifying. Kiwi in the number three seed, he averaged 250, absolutely dominated qualifying. In match play, it was a bit different. He couldn't quite find much and he ended up with a 241 average. Casey Stars in the number two seed, he had a 226 average gut coming out of qualifying and ended up with a 200 average in match play to put himself in the number two seed. And Joshi in the number one seed, dominating match play with a 279 average, 836 over three games. He ended up going three and O against his opponents. And that is an absolutely outstanding match play record. And a solid three games. Let's have a little look at the matches we have today. So obviously we have Billy and Callum Coney in the first Callum Coney in the first match, and they will be looking to move on to verse Kiwi in the match two, and then Casey Styles, of course, in the number two seed with Joshi in the number three seed. He goes Billy for the first shot of the season and he will end up getting 10 back. Callum Coney is going to jump up and hope to do the same here. Looking to make his mark in the first match and he leaves a nine, uh, seven pin. He leaves one pin up on the deck. to spare it up and he will do so. Billy looking for a double, no. No op no back to back opening jacks for Billy. And we'll spare it up. Billy really wants to make his mark early here in the twenty twenty two PBT season. Going to be taking his time on this next shot to make sure he gets 10 back. And he will. Beautiful shot. Callum Coney for his second frame. And he gets dead flush 10 back. Great shot there by Callum Coney. Can he make it a double? No, he can't. Still can't get that 7 pin out. I nearly keep saying 10 pin because I'm a right hander myself. And he'll spare it up. Takes out the 7. Billy on the left lane. And he will take 10 back for himself and that will be a big double early in the match oh he's gone high and he's left the four pin he pulled it a bit left and it just did not sit to 
to get back on the strike train here, and he will. He wants to put himself in the position to Turkey in this next frame. Oh my lord, six pin gets danced around and does not go down. We'll spare it up and we'll move on. Billy up on the left lane for the sixth frame and he will go 10 back. It's a good match so far. Great match so far. It's a shot and it's a double. See if Callum can put some sort of pressure on Billy here. Oh no, it's a 7 9 split. He's gone a tad light in the pocket, but he's ended up with a massive split. Can't get the bounce out, and that is going to be a big open there. Halfway through the match, as Billy's working on a double. Oh, and he gets a pocket 7-10. It was a light pocket 7-10 and that is going to be something else back-to-back -back splits and that could possibly be the downfall of Callum Coney this match no help for Callum all the pins fall for Billy Billy with a 259 max oh Seven pin does not want to go down. And I'll spare it up. That 258, ma uh, 259 max will go down to a 238. Unfortunate misfortunes for Callum Coney. Coming into the foundation frame. All he can really do is strike out and hope. Actually, no, he can't even really do that. <laughs> Billy's really just got to keep it on the lane. Don't mind this. I must have forgotten to edit that part out. Um, anyways, as we're looking at uh, these gutter balls, um, I want to remind everyone that the GTB has finally paired up with the PBT and they are official associates of the Premium Bowlers Tour so if you guys want to join make sure to click the discord link in the I believe it's the announcements channel um, in the discord server if you guys haven't joined the discord server don't know what you're doing um, but most of the people that are watching this will be from the discord server so I'm not sure where I'm really taking that one but yes, uh, Billy Lee ends up leaving the 10 pin. And uh, so, yeah, if you guys want to join the team, uh, then feel free to. It's a great team run by a great person, Benjo himself. He is a co host out here on the Premium Bowlers Tour 226. There for Billy, 206 Max for Callum Coney. He was just unlucky there to get those two splits and that is just going to be uh, a misfortune it's bowling and that's what happens goes through the face leaves a 6-8 and uh, that's going to be match one over done and dusted and we're going to be looking to move on well Billy will be looking to move on to match two so as you saw there, Billy ended up coming out on top, Callum Coney getting two very unlucky breaks, 226 to 192 is going to be the final score for that match and Billy will be moving on to first Kiwi in the number 3 seed. As we look here, Billy moving on. To verse Kiwi in the number three seed. Whoever wins this match will move on to verse Casey Styles. 
the number two seed. Here we are for match number two of the 2022 PBT and Mark Roth Open. We are going to be looking in the perspective of Billy Miller. He will be looking to start strong here in the second match, and he will do so. Great shot there. Back to back opening jacks, no. 10 pin will stand. And he won't be able to do much about that. Oh, actually, oh my god. Um, hold on. Uh. Uh. So we're gonna have to restart this. So here we are for match number two. We have started from the second frame from Billy's perspective. He forgot to start recording. I had to remind him. And yeah, so we're starting from the second frame. And these are the correct scores at the moment. And Billy will start off with back-to-back -back opening jacks. Solid start for Billy here. And he'll look for a turkey. But he won't get it. Ten pin will stand. Kiwi absolutely dominated in qualifying as you saw. 250 average. But he hasn't dominated in match play. But can he dominate here? In the step ladder finals. Ten pin stays up. It's wobbling but doesn't go down. He wants to make his mark here on the PBT tour. In the first event of the season. Oh, Billy. Oh, sorry, not Billy. Kiwi gets another strike back on the strike train here. And Billy will be looking to put himself on the strike train too, as he does so. Oh, wow, going high flush, great shot. And Key will be looking to keep up with Billy Miller. Whoa, sending pins flying everywhere. Absolutely destroyed him. Oh, 10 pin does not go down. Struggling a bit. He'll spare it up. Gotta make your spares. Strike for the show, spare for the dough. And Billy looking to put himself in a position. Oh my god, what a messenger. Nine pin. He hits the replay button and I don't blame him. What a messenger. Nine pin goes down. And that will be a turkey for Billy. Oh boy, that is going to be a two pin. Wow. Uh, went very, very light and did not get any sort of break. He'll pick up the two pin and Kiwi will be looking to try. Oh my god! A <laughs> seven pin messenger from a two hand, uh, from a right hand. That is something else. Haven't seen that one before. Well, I probably have, but not very often at all. That was just insane pin carry. He does end up getting a double. Trying to put pressure on Billy here. Billy having problems with the uh, power meter. I was I was in call while he was recording this, so... 
hundred percent sure if you can hear the call itself, so you might be able to spare it up. If you can, that's completely fine. <laughs> Beautiful shot there by Billy to get back on the strike train in the foundation ninth. Talking about foundation ninths, Kiwi up in it. Looking for a strike and he gets himself one. Kiwi can strike out here to shut well, he only needs he needs a double and nine. That's gonna be one. He needs another one and nine, and he gets another one. He needs nine to shut out Billy. And he'll get ten, and he'll get the win. 249. Here comes. And Billy will be looking to just strike out here, make it a close match. Great bowling by both players. Ooh, whoa, and it's a messenger by Billy. <laughs> messenger four pin. Who says you can't put on a show when you've lost? That was spectacular there. Oh, we nearly got another one. That would have been amazing. But Kiwi will be moving on to match number three to verse Casey Styles. A solid 249 to 236. So, oh, sorry, wrong graphic. So K uh, Kiwi will be versing Casey Styles in the semi final match, and whoever wins this one. We'll move on to verse the number one seed, Joshi, in the championship match for the PBT Mark Roth Open. Unfortunately, we do not have um, footage from, the, from match three. So I will say that Kiwi came out on top and he ended up beating... Uh, Casey Styles. So as you can see here, Casey Styles. Oh, sorry. As you can see here, Casey Styles got beaten by Kiwi. Kiwi moved on to the championship match. Joshi, in the number one seed, will be looking to snatch the title. We do have footage for the match four, also known as the championship match, and the scores shown here: two twenty-four to two thirty-six. Kiwi moves on. And he'll be looking to semi-run the stepladder to win his uh, the first title of the season. But can he keep his nerves and win the match? We're going to find out very soon against Joshi himself, who absolutely dominated call up match play. So here we are, sorry for about the quality, it was recorded on an Oculus Quest, but it's the best we can do and at least it's better than nothing. So here we have Joshi vs Billy for the championship match. This is Kiwi up first. And of course, some players were on VR and some players were on PC. And it did not disappoint. Both uh, VR and PC players looked very equal. A very special mention to those who shot 300 in this event. Joshi himself shot a 300 in match play on the Viking pattern. Which isn't too hard. As long as you find a line, you've just got to hit it. And along with that. Uh, myself, Jones, I also made, uh, I also got my first PBT 300, Joshi has two now, and there was Casey Styles who also got, wait, 
Yeah, Casey Styles, who also got in one opening back-to-back jacks there for Joshi. And Casey Styles got his first ever PBT 300. And wow, a rough 10-pin. As you can tell by the head motion, he did not like the result of that one. He'll spare it up. And we are in the tournament alley this time round. And uh, yes, it's the uh, one of the new alleys in the game. He'll get 10 back there. And Joshi will be working on the front two. Qualifying for the NYC Open starts tomorrow. Oh, well, today, tomorrow, today, I don't know, tomorrow at 12 a.m. And it's going to be a very interesting qualifying. As, uh, once again, there is an easy and a hard pattern to deal with. The hard pattern being the sport pattern. I have practiced on it a bit myself. And for the front four, Joshi has a starting hand bone here in the championship match. And that is a beautiful shot there by Kiwi. Um, yes, so the sport pattern is quite difficult. Um, I saw a few lines I could have used, but you had to hit them all. It wasn't going to work. Front four here for Joshi, looking to make it the front five. But as I was saying, front five, no, seven pin, no, doesn't go down. Um, but the second pattern in qualifying is flute, which is a very easy pattern. And it makes a uh, thumbs up by a Kiwi there for the seven pin conversion. And, um, and it makes up for the difficult first pattern that we that we're gonna and it goes the balls exploding um they um oh a pocket seven nine oh no that is so unfortunate unlucky there joshi and he is going to have to take his meds on this one that is such an unlucky break um uh, yeah, flute we've got for the second round of qualifying, uh, second block of qualifying. And that is going to be, uh, that will make up for the hard pattern of sport in the first block of qualifying. Temp in there for Kiwi. And then in the uh, match play, honestly I don't know the match play or the uh, step ladder finals pattern, so um, I only know the qualifying patterns. At this point in time, only because I've forgotten what the match play and the step ladder finals patterns are, but I'm hoping they're easy. Um, I believe the oh the step ladder finals pattern is flame, so hopefully we will be able to put ourselves in finals because I'm well at least last time I played flame I was absolutely I was ugh, I was good <laughs> let's just say I was pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Flame, and I'm pretty sure I have to put myself not only through a tough first block pattern of qualifying, but a tough match play pattern. I'm pretty sure it's a tough match play pattern. Oh, shut down. So yes, a very tough match play pattern. Um, It's going to be a very, very long match play, to say the least. A lot of spares... Are going to have to be made. So let's hope uh, all players can shoot some high scores. Sorry about that. Um, I have not been keeping up with the game. What happened? Uh, strike you guys strike in the ninth um yeah match play uh I don't know what I was saying anymore I got distracted so 
yeah, coming towards the end of the match here, it looks like uh, Kiwi has the match basically in hand. And Joshi's just going to be finishing off here in the 10th frame. Yep. Uh, so Kiwi will be looking for, I'd say just a strike. I don't think he needs very much at all, to be honest. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happening here with Joshi. Uh, yep. Joshi is one of them players that likes to take his time. And that will be a 2.15 out for Joshi. And Kiwi just sending pins flying like always. 10 pins somehow stands. I'm not 100% sure how, but it stood. We'll spare it up. And uh, Kiwi will find himself his first title. On the Premium Bowlers Tour. And that 8 pin goes down like there is no tomorrow. And, uh, great match and matches here today. So Kiwi comes out on top. And um, Joshi unfortunately will have to wait another day. Thank you everyone watching for watching the 2022 PBG Mark Roth Open. We will be back in a couple of weeks time with the stepladder finals of the PBT NYC Open of 2022. This is me, Jomar Duffy, signing out from the Premium Bowlers Tour. I will see you next time and hopefully with a guest maybe. We will see. Good luck and high scoring.